Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya iwal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba' Praise be upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For the overflow of his grace and guidance to us May salawat and salam always be given to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that has guided us min adh-dhulumati ilan nur from the edge of darkness to the likeness namely ad-dinu islam My esteemed judges and audiences wherever you are I hope you're happy and healthy today Allow me Naura Nabila Mutakin from Muhammadiyah one senior high school Gersik to deliver my speech When I was in middle school my teachers used to teach us about great character But at that time, I was around 13 to 15 years old, and I didn't really understand what is the importance of having great character. But now, as years have passed, I've already crossed its essential. Let's break it down. Character is the way someone thinks, feels, and behaves. And to obtain great character, it is important for us to understand morality. What is morality? It is the standard set by society to decide which character and which behavior is wrong and which behavior is right. Okay. On this occasion, we will be talking about building character and its role in enhancing the unity of Indonesia through an Islamic perspective. Building up remarkable character is not something that could be done in such a short time. It is a lifetime journey even. Thus, it is important for us to nurture morality in children so that they could get used in having noble mentality. Luckily, there have been many schools in Indonesia that focus on shaping students' character, especially Muhammadiyah institutions. Every school of Muhammadiyah are teaching the student about six promises of Muhammadiyah students. The first promise is to strive in upholding the teachings of Islam. The second promise is to obey and respect our teachers and parents. The third promise is to be diligent in learning. The, first, the fourth promise is to work hard, to be independent, and to achieve big things. The fifth promise is willing to help others. And the sixth promise is ready to be the next cadre of Muhammadiyah and the nations. These promises were made to build students' characters, which aim for the goals of character education. And what are the scope? The first goal is to develop students' basic potentials. The second goal is to strengthen the behavior of a diverse nation since an early age. The third goal is to maximize the civilization of creative nation in world relations. Other than those three goals, the other glory of having great character is also stated in the Al-Quran, Quran Surah Ali Imran, verse 134. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, alladhina yunfikuna fi sarra'i wa dharra'i wal kadhimin, wal kadhimin nal ghaidu wal afin anin nas. Wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin Sadaqallahul azim Pious Muslims are those who donate in adversity and prosperity Those who control their anger and those who pardon others And Allah loves the good doers If these three qualities become the morals of the nation And is engraved in every of the citizen's heart Then surely Indonesia would be a much greater nation Indonesia has the ideology of Pancasila. It will be marvelous if all citizens of Indonesia are committed to Pancasila, where a great nation is marked with the society's remarkable personalities. Talking about Pancasila and character, there are two principles of Pancasila that are likely to be realized by enhancing the morality of the nation. Those principles are the, sec the second principle and the third principle a just and civilized humanity and unity of Indonesia. In this digital era, we have to understand that Pancasila is slowly fading away from the hearts of the citizens. Thus, it is our duty to bring it back, to bring the spirit of Pancasila back to the heart of the nation. 
as social beings, it is inevitable for us to interact with others on a daily basis. And through these interactions, it is possible for us to either strengthen our bonds or break them apart. Evidently, if we want to live as a happy and prosperous citizen, we ought to have great character in order to gain others' trust and respect. Others' trust and respect is very important in our lives, and why is that so? The first example I can give is that people like to hang out more with their friends who are kind in nature rather than those who are rude and disrespectful. The second example is that people tend to vote those who are trustworthy to be their leaders rather than those who are unfaithful to their votes. These two examples show us that the morality of the nation is something that is not to be taken lightly for how important this matter is. And we, as the young Muhammadiyah generations, have to do this. The first duty is to learn because our surroundings are ever-changing and it will affect our way to perceive things. Thus, we have to keep learning. We have to understand our surroundings. We have to hear, we have to listen from others' perspectives and experiences. And then, we have to act based on the morality that has been stated in Al-Quran and As-Sunnah and based on what we've experienced and what we've learned. The second duty is to teach the younger generation, the future generation, because even though we are 30% in the future, because even though we are 30% in the present, we are 100% in the future. That is my speech. If I made any mistakes, I deeply apologize. And if there is something good, that is solely because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May we take lessons from for here and the future. Nun wa kolami wa ma yasturun. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.